All right, welcome back to another interesting installment of Mind Test Gameplay of Swords. Yeah. And today, we're going to look at some mods. We're going to look at 3D armor. We're going to look at the hazmat suit, um, the Technic add-ons for the armor, and the replacer mod. So let's go. And if you like what you see here, please consider liking and subscribing, or the apocalyptic donut of doom will get you. Thank you. Open. Thank you. All right. So, I had some comments um, in for the, the recent videos concerning um, one little error that I made and another where some, uh, some cool stuff. So, First off the bat, uh, Michael Gentles, or Gentles, sorry if I mispronounced that, he had uh, recommended the um, Soka Mines Replacer mod. I knew about it, but I could never get it to work. Until now, I got it to work. And it was real stupid. So always read the directions in the mods. <laughs> and Nathan had... Uh, added some comments on the um oh the nuclear reactor build video and uh one mistake i made i forgot i build in creative so i have everything at my fingertips i don't have to mine as it as it was put in um rick and morty so rick is sitting there learning about minecraft and he goes so you have to you, you have to mine to get tools to mine I love how that goes. And that was my very, very poor Rick impersonation. So you have to mine to get tools, to build the tools, and then you use the tools to do more mining. Yeah, that's all we do. So here, here is the uh, parts of the 3D armor. So we will, yeah, we, we, we I quit. So, uh, and in the show notes will be all the links to the mods that we're going to talk about today. So here's the 3D, 3D armor. Now, I was using an older version, so it's now at uh, 0.4.11, and it adds some really cool stuff. Um, I was looking for this hazmat suit. That has been moved to a different repo. So here is the link for the hazmat suit and the addition for the Technic add-on armor that adds on silver and other Technic materials like lead because um, Nathan had said about, you know, in 3D armor, he thought you could use a lead suit for radiation. And yes, you can, but you need that little add-on. Um, and then the replacer from uh, Sokomine. Now, I had used it before, but I ran into some errors with it on one of my worlds, but I revisited it, it, did it, and got it to work because it is included in Vanessa E's uh, Dream Builder mod pack. So, like I said, and I finally learned how to use it. Yes. So we, uh, all those links will be in the show description. We will um, see them. So here are the armor stands with the 3D armor. We're going to set that up. We're going to go out to darkness at the Edge of Town by Bruce Springsteen. And come on, come on, catch up. There we go. I still can't get the flashlight to work in Technic, but I really don't care since I have this. So we're going to turn some lights on. Yeah, very cool. And, of course, the fans on my little Mac are already starting, which is going to mean that another episode of uh, Real Horrendous um, Audio... So now where can I put this? Do I want to, you know what we're going to do is we're going to put it back here because this is where, this would be like a changing room. So what we have is we have some armor stands. There we go. We're going to put three in here. I wonder if that'll work. Can I do that? <laughs> Look at that. I can, but that's not what I wanted to do. Okay, so let us get, since we are in the nuclear reactor, 
the nuclear vessel, as it would be put. Um, we're going to want that. We want the lead armor. So, here's our armor. And uh, where's my lead? Lead boots. And uh, come on, lead chest plate. We have the lead boots. We need the lead leggings. Silver lead leggings. All right. And we need what else do I need? The lead helmet. Lord helmet. Um, I know it's around here somewhere. And titanium. Oh, come on. I knew it was here. There it is. When all else fails, do that. So we first we're going to do the lead armor. And I'm actually going to put the lead armor on. So go back in here. I upgraded it. We are going to take off. I noticed something real, 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 real strange. And that is when I put the titanium suit on. I could jump like forever. Okay, look at that. Radiation 29.7. No heal. And we have that. Okay, so let's go back to our armor stand and hang up our, our unused stuff here. This is really cool. I'm really, I'm really digging that. That's neat. Okay, so we have our armor. We have our armor stands. I wanted to put a little bench in here because obviously you need to have a bench to sit down and put on your armor. I wonder what, let's, let's take a look at this real quick. Um, hazmat. So we have hazmat boots, chest plate, helmet, leggings, sleeve, and suit. I wonder, what is a sleeve? Let's see what the difference is here. Do that. And take that out, put that in. That won't go in because I did something wrong. What did I do wrong? Um, why won't it let me change as mat chest plate? It won't let me change. I need to get rid of some stuff here. That was, that was very dumb of me. Come on. I have all these tools and everything. So what? Why won't it let me do what I want? Take out the lead, and we weren't. It won't let me, huh? That is strange. Go back here real, real quickly, and grab a hazmat suit, and see if I can put the hazmat suit on. There we go. Radiation forty-five, heal twenty, thirty-one. Well, why wouldn't it? I, uh, you know what? I'm not even gonna. I'm. I'm. I'm not gonna ask. I'm not gonna ask. It works. So let's go see if we are. Wow, it's moving very slowly. I wonder if that's because of the suit on. It makes you slow down. So we are going to go down to the um, nuclear reactor. And take it out. Oh, oh, what Nathan was saying also, if you're building in creative, you could build anything you want. Um, you don't have to start out at a certain level. Wow, that suit is like, come on, you could do it. You could do it. Let's see if that suit works. When, when you're working, when you're working in... Um, in survival mode, you can't start off with the high voltage. You have to start with the low voltage and upgrade and work your way up. So that was one mistake I made. I don't generally play survival. Um, yeah, so let's see if I'm... Oh, crap. <laughs> um, why isn't it working? 
Oh yeah, that that's good. I go. What the hell happened? What? Oh no. <sighs> okay, I did something wrong here. Let's go back out to the factory. What in the world did I do wrong? That was weird. Where am I? Oh, I went the wrong way. Yeah, it was too weird. And of course, it, um, I'm flying through. Let's see what, oh no, I'm naked. Where's my suit? Give me my suit. You know what? Okay, so if we put that on, we have a radiation level of 40 and a healing level of 20. And that's it. All right, so let's go down here. We're not going to waste any time. I'm even flying slower with that on. That is weird. Okay. I don't know why it, um, so if I look down my reactor, my reactor is working so far. I'm okay. I'm not getting irradiated. And right here is usually where I get irradiated. And I felt, and I fell through the stairs. I'm lagging big time. It does seem to work. However, when I fell into the, <laughs> when I fell into the reactor, it, um, it didn't like me. And I was looking right down at that shine, the uh, radiation shine. Okay, it's not, uh, it works because I am not, what in the world? I'm lag, something's making me lag big time. So what we are going to do real quickly here is we are going to put a couple armor stands and we are going to outfit it with lead. Oh, you have to put it in the right in the right area here. Okay, I'll play your game. So this way anybody coming in here to work on to work on it um will have to that won't go in there. Why won't that go in there? Okay, if you say so. Apparently, there's something now, like I said, I'm using a developmental version, so there's going to be there's going to be um, little quirks and stuff like that. So there's the radiation suits. It'll allow the person to. It will allow the person to change it. So let's go back to the um, armor real quickly. And I'm going to show you what, what's going on with the titanium. If I could spell correctly. And we're going to get all this. Boy, he's looking mighty dapper there. There we go. 90, level 97.02. Cool. So that's your hazmat suit. That's your lead suit keep you from radiation, from getting irradiated. We are going to just go back up, not down, up, because I'm lazy and my videos are, that last video took what, 50 minutes? You already saw what, what the effects were. So we come in here, we have, oh, I was going to say, I just had that. I just had that. So let's let's um, fill out my ward fill out my wardrobe here real quickly and okay that that is that that's not what I wanted I want to click on that but this is like a puzzle you have to put the right pieces in the right order very nice very nice so we have some extra uh, suits up here. And everybody's protected for OSHA standards in the United States, health and safety across the pond. 
Look how fast I'm all, I'm also going. I have the uh what do you call it? Titanium suit on. We're gonna come back over here and go back out to my house. Yes. And we're going to do some playing around with the titanium. Look how fast it's walking. And open. The replacer mod. So that's that's your hazmat suit and your armor stand and your um, your different technic shields, stuff like that for the armor. Uh, you need, like I said, you need the three. You need the three D armor mod, and I'm using the uh, unified inventory from Vanessa E. So that's why it shows up here for the three D armor, and um. Yeah, it, it, it shows up normally if you don't have that. Here's all your armor. Um, there's wood. I don't know why you want to use wood. Wood armor. Okay, there's cactus armor. Whatever, whatever that's going to do for you. Congratulations. There's some uh, different kind of materials here. Radi radiatum? Ra rarium. And un unobtainium. And... <laughs> cobalt and uh you have your standard gold diamond and stuff like that so it's very very nice i like it um something cool and my my character looks mighty mighty fine in there so here's what happens when you hit the jump look at that he's wearing titanium Any, any day now. There we go. So we can, we can, it's almost like you're on helium or something. So if you want to get across the pond, now, I notice I have my boats over here. We don't need boats where we're going. It's kind of like, uh, uh, where we're going, we don't need roads. All we have to do is run and jump. Look at that. We're... We're jumping. Oh, yeah. You know, I, I get amused way too easy. Now we're on the other side. Very nice. That, uh, it's kind of cool, but after a while it gets kind of annoying because you can't just simple jump. And now we're in the trees. And now we're falling gracefully back to the to the ground. So I am going to remove that because I wonder if just by doing that, nope, nope. It it appears to be everything. I I used to use it at titanium shield. Everything on here, um. Yeah, it is uh, causing me to jump very, very high. So that is that. Now we'll put the diamond stuff back on here. And now you can see I'm jumping normally. And I have my fast run back. Cool. Now we're going to look at the replacer mod. This is really, this is really neat. Uh, I was going to build a fire pit down here. However, I still am going to do that. But I want to come back here and show off this mod because this is really, really cool. So, now oh, that looks okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> let's say I want to take this block here, which is wood ground soil. So, it, the, the mod comes with two different tools. You have a node replacement tool and an inspector tool. So, if you left click on the tool while holding the Inspector tool, it will tell you it's grass with leaves, number one, wood soils, and it will tell you all the information that you didn't really need to know, but it's good to know. Now, my problem with the replacer mod is it said right-click to grab whatever you want and then left-click to place. Well, when I right-clicked, that's what would usually happen, and I would get very annoyed. And I could never figure it out until I went back in and read the directions you have to hit the sneak key 
And the sneak key on mine is the letter U. So if we go into change keys, um, sneak key right there, mine is set up for U. And so you hit the U, now I grabbed it. So now if I come over, I can left click and replace, look at that. Oop. I I did that. So if you're on the tool and you left click, look at that. There you go. And it, where, where it comes in handy is let's say um, this is wood ground soil. So I'm going to grab that and I want to replace this one. There we go, and I want to replace that one, and that one. So it, it works out really cool, especially if you're you're doing something like here, where um, I have grass here, but it should be patio. So I hit the sneak key, I grab some stone, and I put some stone there. And same thing with there, and there. So it works, the replacer tool works really good. However, I can't see replacing a whole bunch of stuff like you can in World Edit. So in World Edit, you have the, uh, replace, you have the uh, replace nodes. So this basically, in a region, you have to mark your regions, you know, position one, position two. And then you can put in, like it'll replace all cobblestone with regular stone replace or replace inverse so you can you can do the opposite so that's how that works so one of the cool and you know you have your wand tool for world edit left to set the position one right to set position two um there's a lot of different tools that one can use to make building that much quicker so that's how that works and let me get rid of some stuff here. I'm filling up with tools. You get the regular screwdriver, the world edit tool. Here's the hammer for the mom and pop furniture that, that I use. You have the inspector tool because a lot of times the, a lot of times um, when you look at something and you can, you can hit the tilde key and it will turn on debug and tell you what something is. So if I just right click on that, this is Italian marble and I believe it, yeah, the Art Deco Italian marble PNG. So when you're, when you're using like world edit and you want to replace stuff, you need the exact name and, and, you know, capitalization of whatever you're trying to replace. So this tool is very handy in doing that. And there's a sign default sign underscore wall, underscore seal, steel, seal. Yeah, okay. And it works out really, really good. So, um, there again, if I come back out to the beach here, and I thought there was a place, I can, I can grab that, that soil, and there you go. I replaced it. I can grab... I can grab that and change it back. And that is a really cool tool that you could literally take if you don't know what, um, let's say you don't know if you want this to be sandstone, you can put three or four blocks and just go back and forth real quick and change whatever you need uh, without having to keep going into your inventory. You know, how would this, how would this block look over here? Or, or you saw what I did with the wood soil. In that, you know, I just grabbed it and and did it. So that works out really good. Also back here, I didn't. Wow, I'm lagging big time. Um, you know, I, I got stone here. I replaced. I had I had a bunch of sand. Oh, I don't like that stone there. So what I am going to do is I am going to not do anything because I wasn't on the tool, and I'm going to replace that. That looks better. I do like the stone over there. Um, and then, like, for here, let's uh, put stone here and here and here. Give it a kind of a cool look. 
little bit of a quarryish look. There we go. That looks really cool. So, you know, I didn't have to go into my inventory. I didn't have to do anything. So those are some great suggestions. And now, like, I replaced all the dirt that was here with grass along the garage, the garage. Yeah. So that works out really good. And even with the diamond armor, I am hopping higher than I would have been. <laughs> not using any armor at all or just using um what do you call it uh the well that platinum armor or titanium armor i don't know what the deal is with that why it was jumping so high it is kind of cool to do something like that so but that depends on the player so there you have it so we have our armor stands and we have our different armors and additional armors, which saved us from being uh, irradiated at the nuclear power power vessel. And uh, we have the replacer mod. And all is balanced in the universe. Come back over here. I love this property. This is becoming one of my one of my favorite properties. So off in the distance over here, not in this house. Uh, what I'm going to start building next is I have an idea which links to the, which links together a house that I had been in, in real life, the one with the atrium and the tree in the middle, but not like the forest house. This house is going to be built into the ground. And the idea is, if you can see the, the mouse cursor here, I want to build something way futuristic and eco-friendly. So it's going to be a, sort of like a containerized version of a house around a hub. So the rooms are going to be situated above ground, but into the side of a domed hill. It's kind of hard to explain. It's sort of like the biodome, but it's not going to extend way up in the air. So you'll, be, you'll walk in and you'll actually step down into, you know, you have your main rooms. There's going to be like a garage area and the main entrance to the house. And then when you, you walk in, there's going to be, you know, your entrance area. But then it's going to go down a couple blocks. And there's going to be a huge open kind of circular area, a hub area, which will have a pool and a little garden area with a tree in it. And then, since I like bringing all, you know, nature inside, and then what will happen is off of each section of the hub will be, like, bathrooms and a, a dining room and a, a living room and then, you know, the, the, the bedroom quarters and stuff like that. So, hopefully, I can pull it off. And then in the very center, there will be a huge skylight to add light for the pool and for the garden and then each outer area will have like a doorway, but the rest of it will be into the mound of a hill. So that's what I'm going to be working on. And while I'm enjoying this beautiful sunrise out here, which means I'm about at 20 minutes right now. So that's going to do it for this episode. Those are some really cool suggestions. Please keep the suggestions coming. And um, yeah, we had the replacer mod, which I, I have been using now that I've learned how to use it, I have been using immensely. And one of the one other real quick suggestion is you go into your mods. Whenever you install a mod, go into the mod and and read the descriptions and the readmes and and all the other stuff here, because that's when it dawned on me that hey, <laughs> all you have to do is shift click or it's it says shift click but it use the um uh, right click on the node that you want to replace well that you actually have to use the shift key to change the material that you want and that's all in the um the readme so go when you whenever you install a mod Look through and, and look at the readmes and stuff like that. And if you're interested in coding, look at the Lua and stuff like that. And you have your textures. 
and that's it. So, on that note, uh, we had the 3D armor, the Technic add-ons, and the um, the hazmat suit, and the replacer mod. You also had the uh, armor stand and the replacer mod, and it'll make your building that much more enjoyable. So, on that note, thank you for watching. Everybody have a uh, warm, safe, dry week. Until the next uh, video, goodbye.